Yo, what up guys, I'm Sammy and welcome back to the Soul Drop. And if you're trying to save some money, these are the best shoes that you can get right now for the price, right? So these are amazing performers for a very, very good price. My cutoff is 120 bucks. Some people say that's a little bit too expensive, but I mean, if it's 120 bucks then just don't get it, <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, but uh, for the most part though, I mean like super budget, you know, even like first signature shoes, like 100, 110 bucks. Uh, and like even like 120 bucks just because of inflation and everyone's raising their prices, right? So I feel like 120 bucks is a pretty good cutoff. Uh, but of course, I mean, there are shoes that are cheaper than that, right? So uh, if you guys do want to get any of these shoes, I try to leave an affiliate link in the description box. Uh, but let's get it start off with the Speed 9 Premium. So the Speed 9 Premium uh, is going for 94 bucks on Famuji and it's freaking amazing. I love that shoe just because it's a super duper lightweight, very, very minimal feeling shoe and also super responsive. So if you're a guard and you wanna feel super fast, it's one of the best options you can get right now, right? Uh, so the traction is top tier. Amazing, amazing traction on uh, the, like the purple colorway that I have. I think it's like the Raptors colorway. Uh, but yeah, that gray, solid gray rubber outsole just bites amazingly on a clean court, bites through dust extremely well too, cushion very, very low to the ground. And also you have that soft mesh strobe board that leaning and wave away does. So stepping cover is actually very, very good. Underfoot cushioning, super duper good. Uh, I mean, not the best for impact protection, right? If you're looking for a crazy good impact protection, like, you know, in the Zion 2 or something like that, Zoom GT Jump, then obviously not the best option, but I feel like it's very good. Like it's adequate for how low to the ground you are, right? You have Pretty nice heel compression. Uh, material, like I said, is super duper thin, but also support was adequate, right? I would say it's around like the PG6, right? So if you're looking for also amazing, amazing support like in the Zion 2s, then Speedline Premium, not the best. But uh, the Speedline Premium uh, was adequate for me for the support. I feel like for a majority of you guys, it'll be adequate. So the Speedline Premium, very, very good option. Next, we got Spencer Dinwiddie signature shoe, right? And it's the DVD one and it, uh, some of the colorways have different prices, but it ranges from 70 bucks to 80 bucks, which is absolutely freaking insane. Super duper cheap. And um, yeah, the DVD one is an amazing performer. The traction is really good. You have a nice loud high pitched squeak, amazing, amazing bite, uh, very minimal dust pickup as well. The cushion also is super duper soft. It bottoms out a little bit once you keep playing in it, but it still remains pretty damn nice. You know, especially comparing it to like Phylon that we used to get a long time ago, like in the Kyrie twos, the Kyrie threes, right? But the DVD one has a good amount of compression in the heel, impact protection is good. Core feel is also pretty good. Material, very, very thin, conforms to your foot very well. Uh, it does feel a little glued down and a little stiff and also a little flimsy, uh, especially when you first get it. Uh, it does break in pretty nicely, uh, but yeah, I mean, the upper it definitely it does feel cheap, but I mean, it is a cheap shoe, <laughs> you know what I mean? But it does feel very, very nice on foot. So uh, not a huge deal in my personal opinion, especially for the price that you're paying. Also, it's a pretty damn good looking shoe, you know, and there's some really dope colorways. So a DVD one, amazing, amazing option. Next, we got the New Balance 2-Way V3 and it retails for 120 bucks. So it makes a cutoff, right? Just makes a cutoff. The traction is solid. You I wouldn't say it's top tier, but it's solid. It has a really good bite on a clean court. It, you do need a break in the traction for a little bit though. And for a couple days, maybe even a week. Uh, but once you do, a uh, solid traction. Cushion also, you're super duper low to the ground. Uh, it's not as nice as I would say like the DVD one or the Speed 9 Premium, but it's still pretty nice. You know, uh, you have a little bit of compression in the heel. Impact protection is overall pretty good. It's like adequate, N nothing amazing. A material, thin. Uh, it's supportive, it conforms to your foot very well too. And uh, overall, it's a pretty lightweight shoe too. So uh, the, the 2A V3 is a solid option and the 2A, 2A line from New Balance has been very, very solid, right? All right, next we got the Adidas Dame Certified and it retails for 95 ah, 95 bucks, super duper cheap. Uh, yeah, so uh, it, I would say it's a really, really good shoe. Like one of the best shoes actually that Adidas has to offer, right? So uh, 95 bucks, you get amazing, like top tier traction, really, really good traction, very, very good bite. Uh, the full length bounce, I would say is pretty nice. You know, I would, it's probably like one of the worst cushioning setups on this list, uh, but would, it's just responsive, right? It's responsive, it's low to the ground. Uh, there's a little bit of compression in the heel and a little bit of like just a nice subtle little bounce in the heel, um, but nothing amazing. Material also, it does feel a little cheap. Uh, it also, it feels a little bit thicker 
than normal, you know, just because there's, it feels like there's a little bit of foam in the material, especially like in the mesh in the forefoot, but it's a super supportive material. It feels rigid and stuff like that, but not, not nothing like too stiff or anything or uncomfortable. But the Dame Certified is a very responsive shoe, right? So uh, yeah, the Dame Certified, I definitely enjoy playing that shoe a lot. Next, we got the Anta GH4 and it retails for 120 bucks on Famuji. Uh, and yeah, I love the support system that that shoe has, right? So it has that harness line system. It locks in your midfoot. It locks your like foot into the shoe very, very well. Uh, it's traction also is solid, right? It has a very, very good bite. Cushion also is really, really nice. Your stepping comfort is great, you know? Also the stroll board is on the softer side of things, you know? Uh, court feel is really, really good, but also, uh, like impact protection is really good too right and a uh, material super duper thin but also very very supportive as well like your foot is locked into the shoe right you have good lateral counters also with that harness line system your foot's locked in so it's an amazing amazing shoe especially for the price 120 bucks and the tech's really good so uh yeah gh4 is an amazing shoe next we got the way of weight 808 2 and also the 8082 V2. I would suggest just getting the 8082 just because the, in my personal opinion, the strap really doesn't do anything and it doesn't look as good as the regular 8082, uh, but it retails for 120 bucks. And if you want a Kobe-like shoe, Kobe-esque shoe, uh, like the Kobe 8, Kobe 9, Kobe 11, uh, the 8082 is an amazing option, right? The, so the traction is top tier. You have an amazing, amazing bite. Just don't get translucent. Get a solid rubber outsole. Uh, the cushion, also you have a drop in missile. It's a full length cloud foam. Uh, step and comfort is good. Court feel is good. Impact protection is overall adequate. Nothing amazing, but my feet really didn't hurt too much when I was playing in the 8082s. Uh, and the material super thin, overall shoe is super duper supportive as well. So the 8082 is a great, great shoe, especially for the price. Next, we got the Waveweight Shadow 4. So the Shadow 4 is right over here. Uh, really, really good traction. You have a very, very solid bite. And also there is a little bit of an outsole curvature, which I do like as well. It reminds me of uh, you know, Kyrie's. The cushion, however, is like a little bit more stiff. It's on the more responsive side of things, uh, but it's still pretty nice. You know, you do get a soft mesh drawer, which does improve the step and cover just a tiny bit. Uh, material is thin, but overall the shoe is super duper supportive. It's a pretty lightweight and minimal feeling shoe as well. Uh, and the Shadow 4 retails for 89 bucks. It's on sale right now. It usually retails for 120, but it's been on sale for 89 bucks on their site for uh, like a couple weeks now. So the Shadow 4 is a very, very good option, especially for the $90 price tag. All right, next we got the Jordan Tatum 1 and retails for 120 bucks. The traction is really, really good on a clean cork. However, it does pick up a little bit of dust. If you do a slight easy wipe, you should be good to go. However, the cushion is really nice too. I really like the cushioning setup. You're very, very low to the ground. Like the core feel is really good. However, you get really nice bounce in the forward, right? It's not too much. You know, like, like falling zoom struggle units are a little too much for me uh, sometimes, right? But the, the Tatum 1 is a nice, subtle bounce. I really, really like it. And then the heel is super duper soft as well. It's like a soft strobe board in the heel too, which is weird. Uh, but the stepping covered in the heel is nice. And also the foam, like the midsole has a good amount of compression too. So the cushioning style is really nice. Material super duper thin, very lightweight and minimal feeling shoe as well. The downside about the Tatum 1, however, is the support. It's not the most supportive shoe. And also torsion support is not the best either. So if you're looking for a, a like really, really supported shoe, then obviously the Tatum one is not the best, but it was adequate for me. It, it definitely wasn't terrible or anything like that. And I could definitely work with it. So uh, I feel like a, a good amount of you guys, you guys wouldn't mind it either. Just like I said, if you're looking for something super supportive, not the best option. All right, next we got the Nike Precision 6, right? And there's a lot of amazing colorways that Nike's been releasing for this shoe for some reason, and they keep releasing it. So good job, Nike keep releasing them. Uh, but yeah, it retails for $75. You know, worst cushion on this list. It has the worst cushion. Um, but yeah, it's low to the ground and responsive, but that's about it, right? So impact protection definitely isn't the best, but it's a pretty cheap shoe, right? Um, but I guess the DVD one is cheaper and you get better cushion in the DVD one. However, the Precision 6 has really, really good traction, solid traction, especially once you break it in. Material is super duper thin, great looking shoe. Uh, overall support, it's like, that's a really, really supported shoe, just for also how lightweight that shoe is, right? So uh, lateral containment's great. Your foot's not really moving outside of the shoe really at all. So the Precision 6 is an amazing option. And last but not least, is a shoe that you can't get anymore because the person that, that this shoe belongs to did some not so smart things, I guess. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, the Jaw 1 
amazing amazing performer 110 dollars amazing traction top tier traction uh one of the best tractions on this list actually cushion also is really nice you know super duper responsive and like subtle but like also you have good impact protection and compression right so uh top loaded zoom in in the forefoot feels very very nice right and then in the heel the foam is pretty soft so you have a nice little compression as well impact protection is good core feels good material uh is super duper supportive but also like pretty thin Right? It's a very, very supportive shoe, but also super lightweight shoe too. So you feel very, very responsive when you're playing in the jaw ones. So hopefully Nike brings back the jaw one and we can purchase it. Uh, but we'll have to see on that. But anyway, Zebra concludes my list uh, for best budget shoes that you can get right now. Again, if you guys do want to get any of these shoes, I try to leave them feeling in the description box, but that's it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.